We all have at some time in our lives watched robotics and sci-fi movies such as iRobot, Total Recall, Transformers, etc., where they talk about robots and technologies of the future. Well, these movies have inspired some great robotic inventions. Diving into the world of robotics today, we would be talking about the two most popular robots or AI that has been humanized or made similar to humans. They are Sophia and Ameka. But before we talk about robots, let's share and press that red button below to subscribe to our channel so you won't miss out on the latest and amazing content that we have for you. So imagine traveling and you're being attended to by a robot or watching the news and you discover that the news is being read by a robot. Would that be weird or awesome? That depends if you like the idea of robots and their purpose. You might be able to identify them now, but there will come a time when you would believe you're talking to a real human being. It would be difficult to tell them apart because they are now being made to look and act and even sound like humans. Today we would be looking closely at Sophia and Emeka and we would be analyzing them and looking at what they can do. First is Sophia. She's been made to have beautiful brown eyes with fluttery eyelashes. On February 14th of 2016, Hanson Robotics activated Sophia and the robot made its first public appearance in mid-March of the same year. She first made international headlines on the 25th of October. She was the first robot ever to be granted full citizenship in Saudi Arabia. She spoke from the podium in Saudi Arabia and she appeared to be a humanoid, except for the shimmering metal cap which was covering her head as a replacement for the human hair. There is no doubt that Sophia was bound to make headlines and keep Saudi Arabia in our minds as it's looking for diversifying its oil. Sophia is a special combination of science, engineering, and artistry depicting the possible future of robotics. As the world's first robot citizen and the first robot innovation ambassador for the United Nations Development Program, Sophia is now a global name having made appearances in several worldwide conferences as well as daytime TV shows. In numerous countries, the special combination of technology acts as a framework for cutting-edge robotics and AI research, especially for understanding human-robot interactions and their potential service and entertainment applications. Sophia's inventors, Hansen Robotics was founded in 2007 by David Hansen and was originally based in Texas. They've now moved to Hong Kong. Since its establishment 15 years ago, the team has been able to build a worldwide reputation for creating human-like robots. Hansen founded the company to pursue his fascination with art, science fiction, and philosophy which pushed him to think about what the future of robots could look like. And I think he's been able to achieve this to an extent. As of 2018, Sophia's architecture included a chat system, scripting software, an open cog, and AI system designed for general reasoning. In that year, Sophia was upgraded with functional legs and the ability to walk freely. Sophia receives visual understanding thanks to a computer program that interprets input from cameras in her eyes. It can track people's faces, maintain eye contact, and recognize them. Sophia can imitate facial expression and has been praised by CNBC. Hansen also embedded alphabet speech recognition technology, which has been designed to get smarter over time. With this innovative tech, Hansen hoped Sophia would be suitable companion for the elders in nursing homes to be used to help large crowds and events on parks. Shortly after the launch and activation of Sophia, Hansen Robotics released a smaller version called Little Sophia as a companion that could teach children how to code. During the same year, Sophia displayed the ability to create drawings, including portraits, displaying the robot's ability to improve as it makes more and more interactions. In 2021, the company has announced that a virtual anime version of Sophia will be released in 100 non-fungible tokens that can interact autonomously with people in a gamified environment. Jian Lim, the former CEO of Hanson Robotics, who is now the co-founder and CEO of Being AI, the startup that created Sophia's official virtual version for the interactive NFT said she hopes the new AI being will bring together humanity and technology to help humans attain our true nature of unconditional love and pure possibilities. Before we proceed, if you have not subscribed to the channel, kindly do that now. Thank you. Moving on to our next humanoid robot, which is Ameka. If you are quite active on the internet, you might have come across Ameka in a viral video that showed Ameka a gray-faced humanoid robot with facial expressions on it. Even Elon Musk commented on the video with a single word, yikes. Developed by Britain's engineered arts humanoid robot, Ameka made its first public appearance at the 2022 Consumer Electronics Show, this week the largest technology fair on the planet. 
During the event, a large crowd gathered around to watch Emeka almost every second and interacted with the robot. Her facial features are surprisingly vivid and emotive. Emeka did not only respond to visitors' questions with more ease than Alexa, which is Amazon's cloud-based AI voice service available on hundreds of millions of devices, but also responds to conversations with proper recreated expressions. It even showed irritation when her nose was poked and pushed the researcher's hand out of the way to express its displeasure. It was very exciting to watch. Emeka has teeth while Emeka's body is all metal and plastic. Its face has deliberately been made without gender and non-human gray. It has 17 individual motors inside its head, controlling its movements and expressions. Emeka has cameras in her eyes. It can recognize the face of the person who is speaking and lock on to the specific person in order to respond. It has microphones in both eyes in order to know exactly in what direction the sound is emanating from. In response to you, the robot can ask how your day was or has been and provide answers to your questions. Ameka's chest is equipped with a speaker. The engineers were unable to place the speakers in her mouth because there were 17 motors with a large number of electronics in the skull, leaving them with little or insufficient space. Ameka also lacks flesh-colored skin tone and wears a translucent skull which gives her a more robotic appearance. We can see the joints and physical components of the robot. It is still unmistakably different from humans, but this was done on purpose. Despite dazzling spectators with the eerie lifelike expressions on its mobile silicon face, the robot is still unable to walk. According to the company, making Ameka walk is a challenging task, and it is in their development plans. They said they are putting lots of time and effort into it because they want to make it as natural as human legs. It will most likely take a year or two before a working prototype is available. This isn't the first hauntingly humanoid robot engineered arts has released. Over the past four years, the company has been creating a line of lifelike Mesmer robots. The main use case for humanoid robots right now is entertainment, communication, and interaction with other people, explained Engineered Arts Director of Operations Morgan Rowe. In his video, Ameka is the pinnacle of what we can do. We didn't make her exactly like a human, we designed her as we envisioned robots of the future. Despite its robotic appearance, the robot behaves like a human, with facial expressions and fluid motion, and does not have the buzzing sound we normally hear from other robots. I think that is pretty much an upgrade. The result of this projector is a visitor interactive robot that looks like a human in appearance. Ameka was willing to answer inquiries and had a good sense of humor. What the corporation refused to tell us was whether there is a real person behind its operation. They said it was preferable if the reader used his imagination in this situation. There are several benefits to humanizing robots, but many believe it would lead to the loss of jobs and uprise in the overall laziness of the human race. Well, there you have it, guys. Sophia, the first to-be-made citizen, and Ameka, the comedian, the robot with a good sense of humor. Which did you find more interesting and what upgrades would you like to have on them? Let us know in the comments section and don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel so as to not miss out on more interesting videos like this. And until next time, goodbye.